Alright, Bejeweled fans, how many of you here are here because you can't get the 3D acceleration to work? Or likewise, you get an air something like a this. Like a this. And then expected there is a cord! Send reporter, totally ignore it. We're gonna totally ignore it because. I'm about to show you how you can get Bejeweled 3 to work and avoid that air you saw right there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. As well as another air, the uh, air that says your computer doesn't have cool enough graphic cards to run Bejeweled 3 on 3D acceleration mode. So let's get started. It's actually very, very simple. And I'm not sure if any of you have tried this yet, but you really should because I'm surprised at how well it worked. What you want to do is you want to go to Device Manager, first things first. And in Device Manager, you want to go to your Display Adapters. And you, have, you should have two if you have two different graphics cards like I do. You'll have the standard Intel HD Graphics 530 or something to that equivalent. And then you'll have an NVIDIA GeForce or other really powerful, awesome graphics card. Now, you the way to... What you want to do is you want to get the game to run on the Nvidia or the extra awesome graphics card. So to do that, we're going to need to disable the Intel drivers. Say yes to this dialog box. Listen to the wonderful Windows 7 sound effects I imported to my laptop. And now that, that has been done, go ahead and launch Bejeweled. And if all goes well, you should see the lovely Bejeweled screen. How about that? Bejeweled works, 3D acceleration enabled. As you can see on this display right here, 3D acceleration, high graphics. I would do ultra, but that slows down my game a bit because of reasons. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. So that's really the only thing you need to see on this tutorial video. Just Proof that by doing that simple trick, you can get Bejewel 3 to work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.